sandwiches. I just <laughs> uh, ran across this. Um, I've had it for a little bit and I couldn't find it and then I was trying to look for it and I finally found it again. Um, I found this little, little funny um, name of actual witch's terms. So uh, this is what I have for you today. So um, when it comes to hearing I have newt in anything, I have newt is actually a colloquial name for mustard seeds. Yes, the seeds from mustard greens. There are no newts involved in the collection process at all. In traditional folk music, or folk magic, mustard seeds have been associated with intuition and prophetic dreams. Englishman's foot. Have you ever seen the common plantation growing? The folklore uh, sometimes was referred to as Englishman's foot. Um, Fairy fingers, um, as it sounds, I mean, sounds so magical, right? Um, it's uh, one of the names for foxglove um, in some parts of Europe, um, but it is very poisonous, uh, and so it should never be ingested. Never. Never, never, never. Um, and can include, and can, uh, all kinds of cardiac problems, including death. If you burn foxglove, don't in inhale the smoke. Uh, you should avoid letting it touch your skin, if possible. The safest way to use it in magic is for to stuff it into a poppet and contain, uh, or container for workings associated with vanishing. Um, I don't touch foxglove. I would not suggest you to touch foxglove. Do not do it. Um, Hawksheart, um, would be Wormwood, again, um, can be, um, poisonous, um, so be very, either very careful or don't use it, again, I don't work it, worth it, so, um, I do not suggest it, but, so, and then lamb's tongue is another magical ingredient. Um, it's in fact uh, ribwort, which is another man, uh, member of the plantation family. Uh, it got its uh, na nickname because of its, um, because it likes to grow in pastures there. Uh, pig snouts. are also known as pig snouts. You can basically find those anywhere there. Um, toe of frog. Um, it is a variety of buttercup known, of, uh, known in folklore, folklore as frog's foot. It's in higher philosophy that Shakespeare was referring to the petals of the flower. Um, like many members of the buttercup family, this particular species is considered toxic and can cause skin inflammations. Um, so again, if it's poisonous, I don't tend to touch it. I don't like working with it, so I would not suggest it. Um, just saying. Uh, tongue of dog. Uh, there is actually a plant known as hound's tongue, uh, which is highly toxic. So again, don't use those toxic ones if you don't have to. Um, odds are this is what that was. Um, so it's probably that. And wolf's milk is actually a colloquial name for uh, euphorbia, a plant often associated with uh, protection and purification. Um, again, can be fairly toxic, so I would not suggest using it, um, but those are, if you ever hear those in any, you know, plays or just, uh, tongue of dog, those are usually what they meant. Uh, again, most of those are toxic, so I would not suggest using them at all. I've stressed that many, many times during this video, and I'll stress it many, many times again. Um, I don't usually like using the poisonous herbs. Um, 
and things like that. I try to keep with my, you know, household, no, I can eat botanicals, things like that, or ones that I know are flowers and things like that that are not poisonous. So that is all I have for you today. Blessed be and keep crafting, which is.